Hi beauties, welcome back. We are starting off by showing you how to apply a nail form. We are using our artistry nails nail forms, putting a little button on the back facing upward so the form won't get stuck together when you close it. And we are positioning it in the form of, we're gonna do a pretty much like a square coffinish look now. We are making sure everything's attached. Use the numbers as your guide. They are the best in the market, guys, and the stickiest for sure. We're prepping the nail, pushing back cuticles using our sanding band. And around the cuticle, we are going gently doing this process. No need to go above and beyond as far as using the drill too much on the natural nail because we are just etching the nail, removing any dead tissue on the nail surface. Moving on with applying our nail forms again. These are the best. You guys have to try them. I have yet to try other nail forms that are stickier than these. They even I even struggle taking them off sometimes. I use the numbers as my guide and I close it from the top like so. Make sure the C curve is nice and however you like it. And I always leave like a little bit of a C curve. You can close it down if you want if you're creating like a stiletto. Totally depends on you. Grabbing some monomer and we're going to be using our number 16 Kalinsky brush. These are pinched brushes, guys. The best for sure. 100% Kalinsky. We are using number 28 Summer Breeze, guys. It's not summer anymore, but the color is perfect for this set. Before I add any color pigment onto my nails, and this is fake and natural nail, I add a thin coat of a protecting layer for this process. This prevents it from staining and it also helps with adhesion, guys. We're adding a bead and make sure that you have control over your bead when it comes to sculpting nails. As you can see, I'm always, always making sure I play with my acrylic first, like you're seeing here, build it to perfection. And the more you build it to the perfect shape that you want, the less filing you're gonna have, especially when it comes down to sculpting nails, guys, I tell you because I love it. It's amazing when you don't have to file so much and you guys are gonna love these forms because as you can see, they're so sturdy. Definitely check them out. I'll put everything in the description below. And I forgot to drain the excess liquid on these beads a little bit. So definitely do that and apply your color like so. We are going to be encapsulating, so I'm doing like a medium size thickness and I'm gonna go ahead and add these little star glitters that are also on our website, guys. Definitely check them out. We're adding them sporadically on the nail because then we're gonna add some stickers. And like I said, we're gonna be encapsulating this design. It's a simple, cute design. Nothing crazy, not spooky, but it is cute. I see it like that. Now we're encapsulating with our clear acrylic and pretty much doing that and then we'll be done and I'm always using the belly of my brush to shape the nail to perfection hi I'm Myra Vargas creator and owner of artistry nails are you interested in becoming a nail technician but don't know where to start? Well, this is your opportunity to learn from me and my 15 years of experience in the nail industry. My beginner's acrylic nails course is a perfect start for you. In this program, I will be sharing the basics of acrylic nails, schooling, and everything in between on how to become a successful nail tech. I'm excited to offer you all my knowledge in this program that's perfectly designed to help you get started with your nail career. Make sure to purchase your program today. This program is available in both English and Spanish. Again, thank you. I'm Myra Vargas. I'm excited to be a part of your growth as a nail technician. After we went ahead and let the acrylic set for a little bit, we are grabbing our magic wand and pinching our nail to give it a little bit more of a C curve. And then we remove our form. And as you can see, we have a little bit on the side walls, which is fine. We're using our fine safety bit to remove all of that and we are using our 100 180 grit file which i absolutely love all the files we have i love it just depends on the mood of what i'm doing i typically use this one the half moon one the 180 i use it for a little bit longer nails 
and this one's just perfect we're using our drill at about a speed of 18 for this process and like i said if you build your nail to perfection there's no need to file so much i'm literally just removing and perfecting the surface and just very carefully it's not doing too much and then also underneath the nail where the c-curve is and we're doing zone one zone two and zone three which is cuticle apex and then free edge and then I touch it all the time, making sure that it is smooth and up to par for my liking. And just make sure everything is perfect. Like I said, we encapsulated this. You don't have to encapsulate our colors, but if you add acrylic, it's thin. And if you just allow it to 100% fully dry, you can just work with it like that. But since we added stars, then I went ahead and encapsulated it. Now moving on with our fine sanding band, we're going to go ahead and just remove any ridges that the file and carpet had left previously. And it's this very simple and easy process. And I'm always throwing the sanding band away after each client. I flip my client's hand around and then I'm straining the free edge. And this is how I get the perfect sharpness and straight nail. Removing all dust from my work area i love a clean area guys now we're going to go ahead and buff it with our buffers and i do buff it when it comes down to acrylic powders because you want that those lines to be removed and also the bottom a little bit now we're going to cleanse our nail with our lint free nail wipes and look how gorgeous and bright this color is now we're going to use some stickers i know i should have drawn this but I sometimes like to have a perfect sticker and they're just super cute and I had added something else to it but then I changed my mind so we went with it looked like he wanted to hold something so we went in with this little popsicle which was super cute it looked like he was holding it and it's a jack popsicle so it's super super cute like I said this is such a like cute maybe like a Disneyland because it has like little ears kind of design and we're applying our no wipe top coat and curing for 60 seconds. Like I said, guys, this is such a simple, cute design. We're curing in our LED light, guys, for 60 seconds. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Definitely follow us on Instagram and TikTok for daily short form content. Subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our videos. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Till next time.